Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm a professional musical theater actor. I've been listening to Fact Check by NCT127 on repeat for the past week, and I'm not embarrassed to say it. This song is a bop. I feel like this reaction video is a little bit of a cheat because I've seen the music video a couple times. I've seen the performance video way too many times, so I kind of know how the choreography goes. It's just a little familiar, and I've been listening to the song, so I know the song. It's great. I love it, clearly. But the dance practice video just came out, so I feel like I would want to see it without like crazy, cool, awesome production quality things. I just want to see it for the choreography and the dance, and I really want to learn this dance so bad. Someone please teach it to me. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. But I'm already gonna love it, spoiler alert, so there's that. So even though I have seen this before, I haven't seen this before, so does that count? I don't know. We'll see. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes. I love the groove. I love the beats. Okay, Utah looks amazing. Hello. Love that. Yes! He's so smooth criminal about that. Let's go, Johnny. This! I want to learn this so bad! Yeah! It has a little bit of an afro vibe to it. This footwork! Hedgehog nails that. The isolations. Let's go. Utah! Looks so perfect doing that. Let's go, Chongu. Yeah. Yes, the transfer. Let's go. He Doyoung is so real for that. Let's go. Ooh, a cannon! Oh my god. Yes, up to the front. Jungu is so good. Okay. I want to point this out really quick, really quick, really quick. Okay, first of all, Jungu on that part, amazing. I love watching him move. He just has this way with physicality that it's just so animated there's such character to it he just has such a way with movement and i love watching him it's so great oh my gosh underrated underrated mover like look at this kid johnny in this part two let's go the levels in this part so real yeah yeah Beautiful. Look at Jungu. Hello? My favorite, my favorite part. A beast, a beast. A goat holding a goat. Okay, I love that part. Okay, these two, these two, Mark and Taeyong. Ooh, oh. Oh, okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. I, I, I wanted to point out and I noticed about them just watching them just interact and perform and stuff. They both they both have just such stage presence. And the difference between that I see between Mark and Taeyong is that Taeyong has the facial expressions, right? It because sometimes when you're just in a song, like you just have like a like the certain vibe, you get the mood. But Taeyong has like character he has the story he goes for it not that nobody else does but it's just different on Taeyong and I get why he's the leader Mark matches that and you can like I saw in a video somewhere that they say that they rely on each other a lot on stage this moment right here I've had that with a best friend of mine on stage where we just like look at each other we make connection we make eye contact and it's just us and we're like I'm here for you you're here for me I love that yeah, yeah. This move by itself probably looks really weird, but as a whole and as a collective, looks awesome. Okay, that lean from Johnny, 
He's leaning so far back. This tall man. Utah kills us part. Hello? I love watching him do this. Yeah, Johnny! Yes! Yeah! They look so cool. I already love this song. It's literally been on repeat for the past week since I first heard it. And I just... It just... Yeah. Okay, so I don't know a lot of NCT 127 songs, but this is definitely my favorite. <laughs> I, I don't know if it carries that much weight, but this is definitely a favorite. Obviously, I've been listening to it for a week straight. <laughs> it's a bop. It's such a banger. Oh my god. Their performance videos and their choreography and the way that they present themselves on stage, it really adds to the music. And I felt that with this. It's one of those songs where you do just naturally, or I naturally, visualize the movement, the dance with the song. It's just one and the same. I'm sure that happens with a lot of songs. This is, I just want to point it out with this one specifically. So in that line where they're doing like this lean and I mentioned how Johnny's so far back, that's really self-aware in a sense of him to do that because he is taller than everybody else. It looks more uniformed in, in a line with everybody else because he leans so far back and that's a lot on the obliques. <laughs> that's just, that is such a lean. I mean, I already love it. Just to repeat myself from the beginning, I love it. It's great. It's really cool to see it without any crazy productions in its earliest stages. I'm pretty sure they just learned that like within the past few days probably. And just to see it raw all together and not have the camera be pointing or focused on something and also moving with them. I really like that and it really shows a lot and it says a lot about the movement. It says a lot about their choreography. It says a lot about their style and how all nine of them mesh together. There's nine of them. Oh my gosh, that still gets to me sometimes. This really highlights everyone and I mean everyone. I liked seeing more of Utah. I liked seeing more of Jungwoo. I liked seeing, you know, and, and it, it, it didn't take away from the ones who are usually Highlighted at least to me that I've seen. Oh my god, Tail wasn't there. Oh my gosh, nine. <sighs> Get well soon, Tail. <laughs> There's so many moving parts in this, and it, I I really like how it all meshed together. I like the focus that we were getting pulled into for different people going into different other sections with you know the different guys. I think it was all very well thought through, very artistic, very creative. See, now these things are going on my algorithm that I saw on Instagram reel where someone said Utah getting lines and I realized that he really doesn't get a lot of lines and so he finally does in this and it works and it fits. He freaking kills it. Are you kidding me? This part, this little lean, he sat in his plie and he brought out the levels in that and he really pushed forward in it and he owned it. And I love that. My sister also noticed this when we watched the performance video, I think. The first time they do that move, it's just Utah and then he goes through the group and then they all start slowly following him. So it's kind of like a, a leader in a sense of like, I'm going first, everybody else follow. Whereas the second time it's Johnny who does it and he, uh, the whole group follows him at the same time. So it's like, hey guys, we're all in this together. And it was like a really cool storytelling moment of actually don't know what this song is about because I don't understand majority of what they're saying except for the English parts because I don't speak Korean. So I'm gonna give that credit to Rachel because she pointed that out and I didn't but I wanted to put it out there. Yep, yeah, I think this is my my October favorite song. I haven't listened to any other song from the album. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really fixated on this one. It gets me really hyped for the day when I have an early shift in the super early hours of the morning, the ungodly hours, if you will. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Fact Check and NCT127 on anything else in the album. Any other recommendations? I do have a video that I've been working on since last night. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that one. It's coming out soon once I finish editing it. Editing is not my favorite. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. I haven't said that in a while. Oh my gosh. And subscribe for more videos if you want. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.